Hello again, thanks for tuning in. This is gonna be a quick review video of the FPV race car, the um, race car that we've hacked to use on the racetrack. So just a, a quick review. I'm also going to include a review of the Emacs Interceptor because the Emacs Interceptor was really the inspiration for this whole thing. So I'm going to do a quick review of that as, as, as the baselines. Let's start off with a couple quick notes about the racetrack mission overall. I'm not sure whether or not I'm planning to create a, a video dedicated to setting up the racetrack. There may be some lessons learned from it that, that warrant me creating a video. I'll leave a comment if it's something that you think you'd like to see a video about. One lesson learned is that racing in and out of shade can be really challenging. So in the footage that I've captured here, I was racing around noon uh, and at that time, the, half of the racetrack was in shade and half of it was in direct sunlight. And that was quite a challenge. I think that the camera takes a little time to adjust between the, the shade and the sunlight and just made it really hard to, to see. So uh, one lesson learned is either race indoors or race in the shade or uh, maybe at dusk or uh, don't set your racetrack up half in and out of shade is, is the long story. And another note is I, I just saw Stu from UAV Futures posted a video about a, a tiny FPV racer that hit the market. Uh, I watched that video, it looks awesome. I'm on the fence about buying a couple of those and reviewing those as well since they are a current offering. Uh, so leave a comment if that's something you'd like to see me review or, or if you have any questions, I'll definitely leave a link to Stu's video. Okay, the Emacs Interceptor is the baseline for this whole quest. Uh, it's a, a car that you could buy that, that's FPV ready. It's a pretty dang decent RC car overall. Uh, it's got variable throttle and steering. It's got suspension. The FPV camera is integrated into the, the design of the car. It's a, a factory design, so uh, it looks pretty good. The canopy is cut out for the camera, and, and you should be able to access the button and charger with the canopy on, although it, it's pretty challenging. But it, in theory, it's a pretty great car. It's no longer available. They don't make it anymore, and when it breaks, it's not fixable. There's no parts available for it, and there's... Uh, when you buy it, you have to buy it with the controller, but like I said, it's not available anymore. So this is just the baseline. On the Emacs Interceptor, price avail availability and what's in the box, um, essentially it's just the car, controller, and a charger. The, the battery is inside of a, a screw compartment. Runs pretty, pretty well, pretty fun experience to drive. The FPV camera isn't uh, great. I, for some reason I noticed the feed just isn't Excellent, doesn't have a really good link. Uh, the factory design should make this car unbeatable. Like in theory, it, it should be the best one out there, um, but there's still some, some pesky things about it. Um, some of the biggest problems about it are it's challenging to change the channel. Um, it doesn't have good documentation. Uh, breaks easily, there's no way to fix it. You can't buy parts for it. I've put some categories to rate it on and if you think that there's uh, more categories that I should add or, or some I should remove, please leave a comment on the video. The car is an FPV rig. I'd give it a nine out of 10. It's got, it's got really good handling, variable throttle. The shaky ride does give it um, you know, a little shake to the camera, but um, I mean, that's, that's just the nature of an RC car and part of this hobby. Um, ease of use, it's, it's hard to change the FPV channels. It's actually really challenging. Um, it's a little bit hard to charge the battery. Uh, it does have a screwdriver required to access the battery do door. And if you remove that screw, um, you'll have to like tape the battery door closed or Velcro it or something else. So um, it's not as easy to use as it should be. Uh, value for the money spent, I'm giving it a five out of 10. Um, it, as soon as it breaks, it's pretty much garbage. You gotta throw away the controller and the, the car. Um, it doesn't have any reusable parts. It's not like you can take the camera off and, and do something else with it. Uh, visual appeal and features, uh, looks looks pretty good. I mean, pretty decent. The the canopy with the FPV cutout is a nice touch, but uh, I'll just give it a six out of 10. And, and durability, low to medium. Um, it doesn't go fast enough to, to destroy itself in a crash, but the parts still break way too easily. Uh, I, I actually blew out the suspension on one of them. I don't know how that happened, but it did. And uh, another one, um, I, a uh, toddler stepped on it very lightly and broke a shock and broke one of the uh, steering arms and it's just trash now. So uh, it was pretty much a disposable item and at that price point of $100, that, that hurts. Plus none of the parts are reusable. So overall grade, uh, 5.6, that's a D plus. The pros, minimal hacking required. Um, so you, know, you didn't have to do too much to get it 
to work. However, um, that's also a con <laughs> because you shouldn't have to hack it at all. It's a factory device. Uh, nice looks overall, has a factory design. It fits perfectly in the box. Uh, good handling overall. It's a very decent RC car. The range is good. It won't get hung up on rocks. It has some uh, suspension and stuff, so that's cool. For cons, minimal hacking is required. Um, it's so it's a factory design. It shouldn't have any hacking required, but it does. Um, it's slightly fast for an entry-level FPV experience, but not too fast. It's pretty cool. No reusable parts. It's trash after it breaks. That's, that's really annoying to me. Uh, it's hard to reach the charging port, uh, hard to change the FPV channel. The documentation is bad. Um, the battery really isn't intended to be changed. Um, FPV camera is not very good, and it's no longer available. So that's a... Uh, that's scoring it a, a D plus. Although it's an extremely fun experience, I think we can do better. So that's the baseline, D plus. Honestly, I thought it, it was gonna do better than that, but with the categories I've selected on a one to 10 scale, that's what it averaged out at. So now let's do a quick review of the FPV race car, Warg Rig, attempt number one. So I'm calling my um, FPV hacked RC stuff Warg Rigs. So price availability and what's in the box. You can get it on Amazon, readily available. And in the box, it comes with uh, some, it comes equipped with, with drift wheels, actually. You have to switch it to the rubber tires if you want to use the rubber tires like I use. Um, it comes with some cones, uh, the car, the controller, an extra battery charger. It's, it's a really good value <clears throat> and runs pretty good. Since it's got no suspension, you've got to have, you know, almost like a tennis court to race on. Um, but but it, it does go over rocks and stuff pretty well for being a car with no suspension. Um, it would be pretty challenging for a child to operate as an FPV rig. No suspension makes for a really shaky ride. Uh, it wouldn't survive being stepped on, but it does survive a basic crash without issue. So the car is an FPV rig. I'm giving it a three, poor handling and no suspension. Uh, however, the camera has great link and looks really good. It, it's way better than the, uh, the other car, the, the Interceptor. Ease of use, um, giving it a three. Uh, kids and people who get vertigo easily will be challenged. Um, however, it's easy to, to plug in, turn on, and, and drive. It's just because it only has an all or nothing uh, throttle and steering, it's just not a good RC car. Uh, value for the money spent. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. I, th I think it's really impressive at this price point. It comes with cones that you can reuse. Um, of course, since we've installed the camera ourselves, we can reuse it on a future project, so that's not money wasted. Uh, it's got the batteries that come with it are very standard. You'll see them on lots of other RC cars, so it's possible that you'll be able to reuse the batteries. So I feel like it's a good value at the price. Visual, um, it's, it's awesome. Like It looks great. It's got LED lights, so I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 on visual appeal. And durability, six. It doesn't go fast enough to destroy itself in a crash, but you got lots of parts that you can reuse. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, so uh, averaging those all out gives it a 6.0 or a grade of C. So our first hacked RC car that we made together, uh, Warg Rig, build number one, that gets a C, uh, 6.0. I think we can do better, um, but that's pretty good. So uh, pros on this one, it looks great, comes with two batteries. You can remove the screw from the battery door and you can uh, access the battery without a screwdriver. The racing crones, the drift wheels uh, are, are pros. You can fit it back in the box after hacking, so it's kind of a nice little case for it. The on-off switch will control the FPV camera and the FPV camera is excellent. Um, the lack of suspension make for a really shaky ride. It's really challenging to drive uh, because of the shake. Uh, all or nothing on the throttle and steering. Uh, poor range with the controller. Um, if the range with the controller was better, it would be a much better experience, but pretty much as long as you can see the car, um, it works okay. So, uh, but it, you know, if you drove around a corner or something, you'd probably still have link with the goggles, but you wouldn't have link with the car. So you'll have to stand up and go walk next to it. A little bit fast for an entry level FPV experience. Um, it can get hung up on rocks or cracks, um, but I found that it does pretty well considering as an RC car, it's pretty bad, but uh, as an FPV rig, it gets a C. So I look forward to hacking more rigs with you guys and showing you what we can do together.
I've got new projects in the works that I think are going to be tons of fun. I can't wait to announce what the next missions will be. I plan to do that very soon. So if you like the content, be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.